Hello friends, this is Working Man Dan with the Homestead Institute. I'm putting in some of my garden today and I wanted to share some tips on how to keep the weeds down since that's a continual struggle wherever you're gardening. And one way to do that is to plant under plastic. Right here I have a roll of plastic. It's thin, it's about four feet wide. And you can see out in front of that roll, I've got the ground kind of raked out and fairly smooth. That'll help irrigating it later in the year to not have a whole bunch of big divots and things in the soil. Some of that'll happen anyway as pets and kids run across the plastic and leave divots in the soil. But to spread it out, you basically dig a little trench just like this one here. It doesn't have to be very deep, but you dig that trench and then you lay the edge of the plastic in the trench and bury it. You can just lay it on the dirt and cover it with soil, but as you irrigate throughout the year, it'll wash the dirt off. The wind's more likely to get under that plastic and pull it up so it doesn't do its job. The idea is that you're blocking some of the sunlight from the ground so that the weeds don't germinate as well and they, they can't grow. It depends on the weeds you're fighting, if they can have a chance of getting through the plastic or not, but it really does keep the weeding down. So one thing to keep in mind is if you're going to plant under plastic, irrigating kind of leaves you with a choice of some kind of drip under the plastic or watering through the hole that you plant through, uh, which long term is kind of a pain to water plant by plant. So I like to use this Netafin drip hose. There's emitters. You can get, get them at different spacings. These are I think on an 18 inch spacing, uh, but you can get them that emit different amounts of water per minute. This one puts out 0.6 gallons per minute out of each of these emitters. And it's pretty hardy stuff. It doesn't kink really easy and it's worked really well for me. Holds up to the sun even when it's not under plastic. So you just lay that down in your bed your row, you lay your plastic in that trench, and then you cover it. Like I say, the trench doesn't have to be really deep. One thing that's important is that you pull the plastic tight so that there's not a lot of loose folds to catch the wind and things. But you can see what this looks like buried, and if you look down that bed, it's not really close to a four foot roll anymore depending on where the, I've got it somewhere between two and three feet wide that you can actually see of the plastic. And that's all according to your preference, how you bury it. And then here's an example of one we've got planted, mostly the peppers. These next couple we'll put tomatoes in. But it really does make a difference. It takes a little longer to put your plants in the ground but in the long run it saves you time all summer long because you only have to weed through those holes and close to the holes where the plants are so you can weed a row in no time at all. So, hope that helps your gardening. Have a great day.